Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going fishing for snakeheads after a long time and I'm going with my friend Marutu of Konkan Fishing. Hi guys, I'm pretty excited. And today there's a challenge. Uh, he challenged us to fish with just one lure. Uh, not any lure, a duck lure. I hope you can see it. I've never fished one before. Let's see who catches most number of fish with it. We have a white duck and a black duck. We got to decide like who's gonna fish uh, which one of these. So let's do this. I like the white. Okay, let's see if you get lucky with that. Let's see. All right, pick one. There you go. Hi. You got that. <laughs> this is what I got. Looks good. Let's see if we can catch a fish. Yep, I got that. Actually, I prefer the other duck. Um, I'm gonna blame it on the color like if I don't catch a fish with that. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. Good luck. Good luck to you. And this is what we were fishing with. Both are casting setup, one piece rods. I want to talk a little bit about how this fishing spot looks. It's heavy color game as you can see. These lily pads, they provide perfect habitat to snakeheads. It's great for ambushing the prey and also to take shelter. If I'm a snakehead, I would love to be here. Let's look at some tips, shall we? Tip number one. Try not to go all the way near the water. You don't have to. Any fish resting there will get spooked. Tip number two. Do not use your mobile phones when you're fishing. You'll see why. To activate that and uh, take your teaching. If you're paying just, attention, just you, you just saw how I lost a fish because I was busy on the phone. Okay, this is Marudu's camera. He's fishing the same spot where I lost that fish. The idea is to stop your lure in between the openings or pockets, as we call it. The fish are very, very sensitive to vibration and they keep following the lure under the lily pads. And when there's an opening, that's when they strike. And when you get a strike, don't set the hook too fast. For snakeheads, you have to wait for 2-3 seconds and that comes by practice. Later, we move on to a different spot. And what you see is called a pitch cast. It can be helpful in different situations. For example, when you want to make accurate presentations and slow and stealthy presentation so that you don't spook the fish. You can do that by slowing down your reel with your thumb. Also, it can be handy when you cannot make any other type of casts. We then returned back to the same spot where we lost the fish during the day. It was kind of getting darker. We need to stop fishing and head back home as well. Not a lot of time to fish. Then Mardu was walking towards me, uh, telling me what he thinks about what's a better type of lure compared to the duck that we were fishing. I was saying a frog is a better choice because it has a flatter surface. So it can skip through or it can skim through the heavy cover, the lily pads. And then, guess who showed up? Nice! <laughs> Boga. I got it, I got it. That was a good strike, isn't it? It felt so good to catch a fish finally at the end of the day. It's also great to have a buddy with you who can help you with landing the fish because catching a fish is only half the part. Landing is another story. This is the guy. Good morning. Huh? Great fish on the duck. <laughs> uh, He's about uh, four pounds. Not bad. Four pounds. Right there. Neat. Four pounds. <laughs> Pretty good. So. The challenge was duck. Can it catch us naked? Indians naked. Looks like he did. Yep, on the duck. Nice. So here's the fish guys. About four pounds. Beautiful snakehead. He likes duck. Perfect hookup. Look at the look at the duck. The little duck. Nice chunky fish. So we missed him a bunch of times, me and Marudu both uh, missed him a bunch of times. 
So he took the duck on the pass. Beautiful fish, huh? Hey guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment section. I will get back to you. And if you like the video, please consider subscribing and share it with your friends. Stay tuned. I'll see you on the next one.